Hey there, YouTubers. This is Dan Strong with Excel BBS Fun. We had a quick question. Uh, somebody said, "Look, I know that in column A, um, right, we're getting the last row, and it says, you know, five. But what if there is no data in column A, or there's a little bit less data? Let's erase that. So in this case, it would say that the last row of your database is two." but we know just by looking that there are some other ones that are being used so typically it's best practice to have your first column be the one that you're doing your VLOOKUPs off of for example or it's something that's constant that you always write something to every time you do a new row you write to the first row of your series but let's say you didn't always have that or something um, there's a way to get the last row you can either loop through each, you can go here and find it and then go here you know in VBA and just basically go through each one and do the Excel up thing for each column that you have uh, and then find that whichever one is the max whatever has the highest number of all the rows mm, but that's not the most efficient way to do it. Uh, Excel has something called a use range so if you'll hit control and um, control asterisk or control shift 8 would do it too. I'm going to hit the control asterisk by the numbers and so there's that's the current range um, if there was a dot, let's see let's connect the dots here. This is your used range it automatically selects the used range area um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the active sheets used range and we'll take the last uh, what well I'll show you let's hit alt f11 we're going to go into a new module we will call this anything um, last row um, all so it shows the last row of no matter which column so let's do that. So we're going to say my variable. You can name that variable anything you want, by the way. It's going to be my var for me. So let's see. That equals. Oh, let me get this. Okay. My var equals, um, in this case, active sheet. You may want to do the actual sheet that you're doing. We'll just say it's the active sheet dot um, used range dot special cells okay what is special cells you're asking I'm glad you asked I'm gonna pull up that web page here special cells and this is on Microsoft's website I'll put this uh, this this link here in my video description but the special cells it returns a range object that represents all the cells all the cells that match the specified type and value so, um, there's different types. Here's the Excel cell type. That's the first part of the thing. So you do special cells with an open parentheses. And you can put the type and then the value. In our case, we just need the type. And the type is Excel cell type last cell. But there's a constant, which is the value 11, which type in all this equals 11 anyways in the system. So you could type uh, Excel cell type last cell, the last cell in the use range, or 11. So let's go back. Um, there's a lot more to that. You might want to check that link out, though. Let's go back here. Alt F11. So we're going to use uh, Active Sheets used range dot special cells. We're going to put 11 there, and we're going to say dot row because we want the actual row number. We want to trap that into my var, or you could say um, last row, or you could say lr if you're like me and you're a little lazy. So I hit F8, F8. All right, we're debugging through, and we see that it's five. So some of the other methods um, take a little bit longer, and if I insert a new row right there, so the use range is actually. Uh, some of them they they just go oh well 
the use range is uh, as we'll see one, two, three, four, five. But with this method, it takes the actual row of the last row of the used range and returns that. So let's do that one more time. Push your little yellow thing there and hit F8, and now it's six. So and then of course, if you just randomly, this is bad, bad, bad practice. But you know, if you if your data is just out there. It should return that the, the last row is 14 now because of this one. So let's see how it does. And F8. Okay, LR is 14. So that's how you trap that using the used range dot special cells and put 11 in parentheses dot row. Um, there's a lot of cool things you can do with the special cells. You can get uh, the formula only from the cell or or the value or this that the other the formatting it's pretty cool so play around with that thanks for watching god bless